All right, y'all. Just wanted to show you a comparison between the 16 by 16, the 16 by 13, and the brand new 13 by 13 Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. Um, you know the the different sizes, and I, I've had these two for for a little while, and I just came back from two different trips where uh, this one was a saltwater box. You can see I still have my my uh, D hooker for sharks on that side on that one and uh, this one was a freshwater box and I, and I just go back and forth instead of having to unload and move and swap because I was going from some places I sometimes I fished in the in the freshwater you know in the morning saltwater in the evening so jumping back and forth it helps to have multiple ways to put your gear together so that I'm not constantly having to swap everything out of that one and forgetting to put something in this one you know I mean I know what's in that box and I know what's in that box so if I throw it and go it with it I, I'm prepared and that's kind of the reason why I set those up that, that way. Now, I wanted to show it to you kind of comparison-wise just so you could see it against the 13 by 13 because the 13 by 13 is brand new. And a lot of people think, well, why in the world would I want a smaller box? And, and you think that, but I mean, 13 by 13 is still a pretty good size box. And, and the reason I wanted that smaller box is, is primarily for, for two reasons. One is I tend to do a lot of fly fishing, especially around here. And I wanted one that is going to specifically haul my fly gear uh, that I can grab and go and take with me. You'll, you'll notice even on that one, um, the others have, the, have the, uh, the tethers attached to it. I did not put the tethers on that box. When I built it, I left the tethers off of them. And it's because if I got fly line going around me in multiple different directions, I want nothing else that it'll tangle on. And, and these are great for holding on to your rods uh, if, in, in case of a flip or if you just want them in, in big water just for extra insurance. They're wonderful for that. But honestly, on that box there, I, I, I wanted everything out of this boat uh, that causes problems causing, you know, when I'm, when I'm fly fishing. When I'm fly fishing, I even I pull the, the foot pegs out of this. I don't want anything in here. Uh, you won't, I won't have any of my, my rod holder stands. Nothing is going to be in here that will catch fly line because I, I don't want anything else that's going to frustrate me. Fly fishing is frustrating enough. But that was primarily why I wanted that box to hold all of my fly gear. And we'll show that to you here in a second. But another reason is for like running and gunning because I mean that's one of my favorite things. That's why I like this boat, the, the Jackson Bite Angler. Uh, for me, it's, it's a lighter boat. It's, it's, a, it's a simple boat. It's one that I can throw and go. I, I, there's not a lot of doodads to it, and, and I, I use it when I run and gun. I use it most of the time. But I love the fact that I can just pick it up and go and, and get to the water quickly, whatever I'm specifically targeting. And that's why I really another reason for that smaller box is, you know, when I'm, I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing. A lot of times I'll pare down my gear to where I don't have to have a whole lot of stuff, you know. I know I'm going to be running, you know, either uh, my, my trick worm setups, or I'm going to be going cranking, or I'm going to be topwater fishing, or I'm going to be chasing stripers and hybrids, so I'm limited to, you know, spoons, bucktails, and stuff like that, the, the different things that I want. That's another great reason for having that box. When I'm, I'm I, I prefer having something that's a little simpler, less room, less weight, you know, and, and I'm good to go. Another good reason is for camping. I mean, I do love to kayak camp. Y'all know that I go to the swamp regularly, and the amount of gear that I carry out there, of course, being a, a kayak camera guy, you know, it's not unusual for me to have five or six different cameras between GoPros and small still photo cameras and then my big still photo cameras, and now I'm carrying a drone with me occasionally, and, and, and there's just a lot of times that I need all the space that I could possibly get. And having that smaller box is going to allow me to have room beside it to put an extra camera bag or, or something to that effect. So that's the reason for me for going with that smaller box as well. All right, now if you're going to run a 13 by 13, you got to know you can't put the 3700 size boxes in here. Uh, these are 14 inches long and of course they will not work. But you can put a ton of these. I mean, there's. I've got so many, so much more room in here for these and uh, all the different boxes that I do run. And these are all just different fly boxes that I tend to carry. Everything from my topwater flies to uh, my stealth bombers, clouds or minnows, you name it, even saltwater stuff. And then, of course, my tippet material. 
uh, I'll put my fly rod holders, the ones that mount to the side of the boat, they go down in here, and, and just the, the various gear that I will carry with me. Um, and then, like I said, if, if it's for running and gunning, I mean, I can I, most of my stuff is either in these boxes or in Ziploc bags because I, I tend to just shove stuff in Ziploc bags when I'm, I'm needing to go somewhere. So um, there's still plenty of room in this thing. I mean, it's got a, a, a cavernous amount of room, especially if you have organizational skills. Now, that's one thing that I do not have is organizational skills. My wife says I organize stuff about like an F5 tornado. So... Uh, but there's still a, a lot of really good usable room in this, but then you see look I've got plenty of, of space in front of behind to the sides for this box and Still, you know just as cool as those uh, But it, it gives me a little bit of extra real estate to deal with especially when I'm uh, having a little bit of a, a, a Trip that I need to limit the extra stuff, you know, or, or I need to have places for the extra stuff so this is the 13 by 13. It just came out. I just put it together. I have not splashed this one. These two have been already to the Florida Keys. Uh, they just came back from, from uh, uh, St. Mark's, Florida. So um, these two have been put through the ringer. And they have been excellent. I'm just finding more and more and more useful stuff. I do find that the, the tackle webs, the, the pouch on the front of that one, I love it. I'm going to buy them to go on, on both of them to mount forward here. Um, I will probably find a way to mount my pliers to the outside. I find that I tend to reach right over the side to grab my pliers, of course right-handed, right here to grab them, so I will probably find a way to do that. Um, really, really, really customizable. Each one of these holes is a way that you can mount something on here, which is why it's pretty simple to do stuff like that. You know, the thing is, find it, find how you want to use them. You know, if you want your, your hooks, it comes with them, man. Put your hooks on there. I'm I wanted it, like I said, for this specific boat, for this specific task. I didn't want the hooks on there, so I didn't put them on there. But that's the beauty of this. You want one rod holder, two rod holders. You want to buy more rod holders. You know, those, that one's got six. That one's got four. This one comes with three. Um, very, very useful pieces of kit. Uh, can't wait to get this one out and get it slimed. Hope this helps. If I can answer any questions, y'all shoot, shoot them to me and... and uh, if they're ever out on the water together and you want to look at it, just holler at me. I'll show it to you. Y'all take care.